types of guys around girls. This is gonna be a fun video. We all know guys just have different personalities around girls. There's good ones and there's just absolutely terrible ones. And then there's some that are just straight up annoying. Like, like bro, she's not gonna f*** you. Shout out the boy KD for the video idea. And let's get into the types of guys around girls. So I think it's appropriate to start off the video with the try hard. This dude will just try so hard to get any spare cooch in the area. This is that one kid that swears he's gonna get all the action. Does he end up getting it? No, because he tries too hard. He'll have a whole list of girls on like every social media. And guess what this dude's doing 24 seven? Guess. Texting all of them. He's trying to spit game to all of them at once. That's like his entire day and his, his entire life purpose is to just get some pussy. Next up we got, we, this, this isn't a video without where the at. This is probably one of mo the most infamous quotes of how guys act around girls. They'll, they'll talk all their shit like, oh, you know, uh, guys, you know, this, this party would be lit with the girls. And when they actually show up to the function, guess what bro's doing? Bro's checking the weather in Santa Clara. Like, why do you care at this moment in time? Because bro's shitting himself and he doesn't know what to do. So he, he's got to look busy. So he's, uh, he's looking at the weather, guys. Don't talk all this shit if you're not going to back yourself up. Yo, Bobby, Bobby, come on, man. But, what is this party? You know what would make tonight a movie? If the h were here. Just for you, Jared, you know what? I I'm gonna call up the girl. One hour later. Bro, what happened? You were the one that wanted the girls there. Uh, 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 uh. And he's got no answer. No explanation for that disgusting behavior. How are you gonna talk all that shit and then log into your Clash of Clans base when the girls are at the party? Next up, we got the Alpha. Now, this dude is just absolutely annoying. This is the guy that's like gobbling Andrew Tate's meat. Like, it's crazy how much of the meat stick is in his mouth. Bro is just extremely toxic. And you wonder why you attract garbage. Being overly nice and overly toxic is just not if you label yourself as an alpha male, like, nah, you cringe, bro, I don't care. Like, oh, guys, I'm an alpha male, actually. I drive a Bugatti like my daddy Andrew. Like, shut the fuck. We all know you're you're whipping around in the Ford Focus. Like, you gotta, you don't gotta say nothing. Because we already know you're watching Andrew Tate with the zestiest pose of all time swing your feet back and, back and forth. Anyways, it, it's usually people who act alpha around girls. They usually just do it around the girls, and that's it. And even some people will make their voice deeper. Yeah, the voice deeper guys on this list. Like, these motherfuckers will, in an instant, sound like corpse husband. Like, bro, I know I sound like a 12-year-old, but watch, I can do it. So, babe, what's going on? Um, are you okay? You sound sick. Okay, I can't do a girl voice for the life of me. No, this is, this is my voice. I mean, it's just really deep for some reason, so, uh, wanna fuck? But she's not gonna get in the bedroom with you because you have a deeper voice. Especially if you're faking it. Like, I don't know, I don't know how girls' attraction to voices work, but goddamn. I don't think faking your voice will get you very far. Then you got the roughhouser. Now, this kid, oh my god. When you're getting some action, when, when you're risen up, like, literally, you're taking the biggest W on the planet, and then this kid pulls up. Up and does something like this. You know, I really think you're really cool, Jessica. Hey, oh my god. Oh, oh. What's, what's... Oh, he's getting the ladies over here, hey, man. Can you can you can you not touch me? And the vibes killed! Just like that. It's over. Whatever plan you were making with Jessica, it, it's just done. It's over. Thanks to Jared, your mojo's gone. Like it, it just poof. Because he's praying on your downfall. Like Mojo Jojo. Like it's crazy. Next up, we got the main character. Now, bro does not need an introduction. We all know this dude is full of himself. Bro thinks he's living in a movie, and bro is just the lead role. So he will try and get all the girls' attention and just start acting like an absolute clown. Even if someone's cooking up like bro they're in their element they're in the zone the main character will try to steal their attention or what is what i like to call c block probably gonna have to censor that but like this dude is so full of himself that he will just interrupt conversations because he thinks he's so important than that other guy that she's talking to that he will just try to steal the show from them he is like the biggest op then you got the guy that switches up we we all know of somebody like this this dude will completely change his personality around girls bro putting on a crazy facade and these people are usually the types of people that will go to extreme lengths and impress girls like they that will go way too far. That's why they're even putting on the facade in the first place. Because they don't got the confidence in their own personality. So they put on this fake one. And they just completely switch up. And, and something else that they would do is clown you to make themselves look funny. You will be the caboose, the ass crack of the joke. Yo, so there's this restaurant that's like five stars. Everyone's saying it's gas. I think we should go sometime. Bro, 
Why are you standing like that? Bro's got that SpongeBob walk though. Wee, 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 wee. So, ladies, ladies, you, you should have seen this guy the other day. He was the biggest NPC ever. He skipped out on the party the other night. Like, bro, that's some like chat GPT type shit. Clowning your homies isn't gonna get you laid, bro. Like, I, I, I hope you know that. Like, and this kid, he, he will make that like the center of the conversation. It's just clowning you the whole time. And of course, that's just gonna get extremely annoying when you can't even talk about other things. Next up, we got the show off. Now, this kid will do any stupid trick or stunt, etc. for some play. Like, he, he's just showing off to the girls. And this is like a very common thing. Like, people do dumb shit in front of their crush all the time. He'll go for like some crazy basketball trick shot and he'll end up slipping. Because he's too busy focusing on what his crush is thinking. He, he's gonna be like eating pavement the way he's focused on impressing his crush with this crazy basketball shot of his. Next up, we got the simp. We can't forget the sim, bro. Oh my god, this dude. He was in the Types of Friends video. Same thing applies. He will ditch the boys for his girl, all right? He will just dip after like an hour, be like, oh yeah, I gotta go see my girl. Like, bro, no you don't. Usually his riz consists of just being desperate. Hello, madam. I think you look very beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put all your drinks on my tab. Bartender, bartender. Yes. Put all her drinks on my tab. I got it. It's on the house tonight. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Yes, of course. Anything for this lovely lady. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, but the craziest thing is, she doesn't even know the guy. That's the craziest part of all this. Like, this dude will go to extreme lengths. He will just be overly nice to the point where it's just a turnoff, bro. Like, we get it, bro. You're trying to get a crumb. But it's not gonna work. Because it just comes off as desperate and fake. Next up, in contrary, we got the Rizzler. Bro just magically pulls. We all know the deal by now. Like, bro has the craziest charisma in the book, and he gets girls. Because he's himself. He doesn't have to put on this fake facade for nobody. Next up, we have the deep guy. Now, this guy will just turn anything into a deep conversation. We all know that one guy that just tries to be deep in front of the girls. It's like some depressed PFP Bart Simpson type shit. So like, yo, do you see that star right there? That It looks like a teardrop. Isn't that so cool? Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. I saw that star. You know, it reminds me of this one time where same exact night, but instead of being with you, staring deep into your eyes, I was fighting some serious demons in my mind. Oh shit, on second thought, I got to leave early tonight. Yeah, my bad. I forgot. Bro, no one wants to hear about you fighting your goddamn demons. <laughs> like, holy shit. This is like the don't hit me up kid in real life, except, yeah, he actually somehow has female interaction now. Because apparently, bro is fighting his demons. I don't know, bro. <laughs> then you got the nervous kid. Now, this one used to be me, like, 100%. The nerves just took over when I was talking to a girl. Like, it was bad. If this is you right now, it's because you're taking it too serious. Like, you gotta, you gotta loosen up a little bit. Show her you. Like, if she don't like like you, then you know what? That's fine. There's plenty fish in the sea. Yeah, I'm low-key still kind of the nervous kid, but we're getting there. Next up, you got the guy who just comes off as extremely creepy. Ugh. You do not want to be this guy, bro. Oh my god. It will just, it, it's just a complete turn off, bro. You got that, if you got that SH riz, if you got that sexual harisman, if you feel me, if you catch my drift, you're just not going to succeed. Oh, I got it. Oh, great idea. Oh, this is Riz. Oh, I can't wait to hold you and snuggle you tonight when we're watching Netflix together in my room. Tee hee. Motherfuckers will straight up send shit like that and act like they're they're the Rizzler. That is just straight up creepy, bro. Like, oh my god, bro. You're probably wondering right now, Duck, what type are you? Like, I mean, you're talking shit about all these other people, and yet you're not gonna say what type you are. Which one are? What? Which one is it? Huh, buddy? I uh, about that. Well, you see, um, I'm the no bitch 